The region around a magnet where the magnetic substance experiences a force is called a magnetic field. Okay, a magnetic field comprises lines of paths free north pole of another magnet would travel. The pattern of a magnetic field can be plotted using a compass. You can actually plot magnetic fields using iron filings. So this is when um, you throw a bunch of iron filings onto um, a magnet. Okay, the magnetic field pattern of a bar magnet is made visible by sprinkling iron filings around it. So all of these iron filings, actually you can see these lines over here. It makes these lines, these lines, these lines, these lines, because each of these iron bits, right? All of them have been affected by the, this magnet and all of them have become tiny little induced magnets and all of them are joined now in lines. So they are joined over here in our lines, north, north to south, something like this. Okay, and this is what you call your magnetic field. All magnetic fields show the following properties of magnetic lines of force. Outside the magnet, the lines start in the north pole and at the south pole. Within the magnet, lines continue from the south pole to the north pole. All right, inside the magnet lah, means inside here. The line will continue from here to and go through again. Okay. <clears throat> The lines can never cross each other. Lines are closer to each other in a stronger magnetic field. Lines tend to repel each other sideways. Lines tend to pass through a magnetic substance rather than through a non-magnetic substance like the air. So this is a way you would draw perhaps this one over here. This part over here is represented by this north and this south pole. So can you see these lines here represent these lines. These lines here represent these lines, and therefore these little tails, these little hairy parts over here represent these lines. Okay, so this is how you would draw it in, um, in your examinations or in your tests. Okay, you will need to draw the lines. For example, if we know this is north pole, this is south pole, right? We would draw these lines over here where they will cross over, and then we would, we would draw them sort of bulging out and up and across, bulging, bulging. Okay. And then perhaps some tail lines joining them, the weaker, some weaker tail lines. And you can note the direction of these arrows. These arrows are extremely important. If you miss out just one of these arrows in your drawings, you will lose the marks already. Because every one of these lines must have arrows. The arrows must always point from north to south. These arrows must always point from north to south, north to south, north to south. Remember, to check your work. Look at the north pole, look at the lines coming out from the north poles of your drawings. They must all, the arrows must all be pointing outwards. At every south pole, the lines that are from your south pole must always have their arrows pointing inwards, pointing into the south pole. Okay? If there's any reason why some arrow doesn't obey this rule, your drawing is wrong. So this is now um, a different scenario where we put two light poles together. Can you see over here? Okay, let's say these two are north poles. Strangely, the lines start to fan out outwards and it pushes outwards. Okay, and so therefore you should draw it this way. The few lines, they must always come out from the north pole, right? And the arrows must always come out. Therefore, they don't join. They don't join. They actually push over and have some kind of like a repellish effect, like a repelling effect. Okay, at first they might go straight, but since they encounter another line, then they're like, oh man, okay, let's avoid each other for now. Let's avoid each other, man, let's avoid each other. So that's what they do, okay? So the few lines actually look like this. Yeah, and at point X over here, you can see that there are no few lines going across, which means that you can put a metal ball into here and it wouldn't budge. All right, because there is, um, point X is a neutral point because the fields from both magnets cancel out each other. All right, so over here, a metal ball would not be attracted to either side or up or down, it will just stay there. Now, if a compass is placed at X, also it will not be affected. It won't do, it won't be affected by the magnets either. Okay, so this is how you draw the magnetic field pattern between two like poles. Okay, in comparison, if these are two south poles, what would you do? These lines would still be the same. However, the arrows would all point in. Over here, um, a bit more complicated scenarios where it's not just um, 
magnet, magnet ends okay these are two real magnets okay if they are put side by side like this north south north south you can see that here the arrows both come out and they both try to avoid each other sort of and the south pole lines just come in okay however if you flip it around north south south north this north side will attract the south side this north side will attract the south side okay therefore the lines will go to each other I'd like you all to turn to your worksheets okay to please trace this pattern indicate the polarity and provide the direction of the magnetic fields can you all do it now please <clears throat> answers will come out in three seconds you can pause this video if you like so the first one north obviously this one would be these are lines that indicate attraction which means this one should be a south pole so over here for b you can see that this north line what's coming out seems to be avoiding okay so if they are avoiding each other it means that this north pole has encountered a light pole therefore this one should be a north pole now this one over here this line seem to be avoiding therefore this part over here should be a north pole and therefore the other sides of both should be south poles over here this north pole seems to be connected to this part therefore this part should be a south pole and therefore you can fill in the rest over here this is what we call a u-shaped magnet a lot of you may probably have seen it okay it is a north pole and it's connected to the other side which means that this should be a relevant south pole similarly north connected to the other side therefore this one should be a south pole now what is missing from all of these drawings is of course the arrows and i want you to do in your um, worksheet all the arrows of all these lines now and these are some um, pictures of various magnetic field patterns from formed by iron filings for various arrangements of magnets now let's talk about magnetic shielding okay magnetic shielding actually is quite important because um, it prevents surrounding magnetic fields from reaching sensitive areas of a piece of equipment which operation may be affected by the fields so how do we shield um, magnetic fields now you need to use thin sheets of soft magnetic materials for example iron or blue metal they can be used for magnetic shielding how of course a sheet of iron is a magnetic material so magnetic fields tend to flow through the iron previously um, if there was no iron over here you can see that the lines go in nice curves however once you put the iron over here the curves seem to flatten out and choose to go through the sheet of iron instead therefore leaving this part over here with little or no um, magnetic fields that's good okay magnetic, magnetic shooting is using a sheet of iron so another way is like this let's say to say there's a there's a north pole and a south pole here okay then we have a ring or a tube of something a hollow iron container okay like an iron box or an iron tube okay the magnetic field lines will go and choose to travel within inside the iron material instead and they would avoid the center therefore the center over here would have no magnetic field okay and therefore the center here is shielded from the influence of these magnetic fields <clears throat> now some key concepts a magnetic field is a region where magnetic effects can be detected magnetic lines of force point from a north pole to a south pole outside the magnet a magnetic field can be mapped using a plotting compass to trace the field line a neutral point is a place where the resultant magnetic field strength is zero magnetic materials such as iron can be used to provide magnetic shielding from surrounding magnetic fields